Now we're going to rock. I want you to listen to this right here. This is a dose of classic rock. Yes. Bring it on, baby. Bring on the noise. Mama, we're all crazy now. <laughs> yes. Thrashing those guitars. This is rock and roll. They brought it back. They brought back. Man, I tell you what. Listen to that. Listen to that. Now, all they need to do is just bust their guitars like Pete Townsend used to do when he back back in the days of the Who. Woo! This is this song was one Who Jet Roll Over DJ at number seventeen on my fantasy playlist, down from number twelve the previous week. Jet. I believe they're from Australia. They had that one big album, and that's it. They tried to replicate the success, but they never were able to top this album. Their debut album called Get Born. It was recorded at Sunset Sound Studio in Los Angeles. It was produced by a guy, na guy named Dave Sardi. Dave Sardi is a hard rock guy. This guy rocks. He's produced Marilyn Manson, Dandy Warhols. He's also worked with Wolf Mother. Remember Wolf Mother from back in the late eighty, back late two thousands, they brought back some of that late sixties, early seventies heavy metal rock and roll, and uh, Wolf and OK Go. He's also worked with OK Go, and he produced this album by by uh, the Jet Get Born. So three point five million copies. Um, I believe that was as of two thousand three or after two thousand three. Bottom line is it, it sold big time. First song uh, off that album, they had four singles off the album. I liked all four, well, I liked all four of them except for, well, no, I take that back. I liked three out of the four is what I'm trying to say. First song, uh, Are You Gonna Be My Girl? Now, there's some dispute about this record. A lot of people have compared this record, the first single off the Jet album, Get Born to E Pops, uh, Lust for Love, and I could see that, but Jet has said, hey, look, our first song, Are You Gonna Be My Girl, it, we got Motown on this. We borrowed from Motown. I'm Ready for Love by Martha Reyes and the Fandellas. Thumbs up on that. And You Can't Hurry Love by the Springs. But I, I'm just going to break the ice on this. Are You Gonna Be My Girl? It is straight out of the Kinks playbook, playbook. All Day and All the Night by the Kinks. And You Really Got Me by the Kinks. It's, it's, uh, it's Kinks. Just let me settle that right now. Forget about Iggy Pop. Forget about Motown. Let Mr. DJ sell it. It's the Kings. They sound like the Kings on that. And then, oh, ooh, it came out with Code Hard. Can't say the B word. Want to try to keep this as family friendly as possible. And uh, oh, that was classic rock. That was freaking ACDC, the Kings. Maybe a little bit of Led Zeppelin thrown in there. I mean, this is this is like late. This is getting to late seventies, early eighties rock and roll. I mean, my goodness, man! I felt like I was back at Solomon's back in nineteen seventy nine when I listened to that record, Code Hard. You know what? And uh, that's probably my favorite song. Then Roll Over DJ, which was slightly more commercial, came out after that. Love that drum solo. <laughs> and then the guitars kick in. They just slam right through the, the sonic barrier. Bust your eardrums. But you'll be dancing in joy as you could no longer hear. <laughs> I couldn't resist that. Uh, oh, this is fun, I tell you what. The last song off that album I just could not get into. The last single, rather. Look What You've Done, that lovey-dovey, let's kiss in the backseat of the car and make out. Forget about that. I just couldn't get into that record. But, roll over, DJ. I'm telling you what. As a matter of fact, let me just go back and see. Let me do a, let me do a hot intro to this record. Okay, three... Two, one, Mr. DJ on the air. Count down his fancy playlist of October the 9th, 2004. At number 17, this is Jet. Roll over, DJ. Rock and roll. Take care. <laughs>